Hey guys, this is Thomas Quo here, and today we're going to talk about tripods. So, what I have is a little bit of a Frankenstein setup. I have the Gitzo Systematic 4 giant legs with the Gitzo center column. I have an Acrotech GP ball head going to a really right stuff lever release panning head. And securing the camera is the Pro Media Gear uh, bracket. And of course, I have my Sony A7R2 and the Metabones adapter with a Canon strap. <laughs> so let me start with the Getzo. This Getzo legs, I really love. It's not as it's not the biggest one they make. The next one up is the Systematic 5. It's bigger, it's bulkier, it's got six section legs instead of five. It goes to 105 inches tall. But th these legs are, are just the right combination. It can go flat on the ground, it can go 96 inches up in the air, it can go another 14 inches on the center column. This, these legs are primo. And the weight savings going from four to five is excellent. On top of which, it's fully carbon, the legs, and gives you that lightweight, that travel, ability to travel. And these legs fold up like this with this little clamp, and you can adjust them to different heights. I used to run a Gitto center column that's geared, but it was really great for product shoots where I needed that accuracy in my camera movement, but I shoot a lot of, I've been shooting a lot of interiors, and I found that using a speed column like this makes it that much quicker and more fluid moving from set to set and room to room. The speed column is just a simple twist, and you just pick your camera up and move. All right. Next is the Acrotech GP ball head. I love this ball head. It changed me as a photographer. I used to use the Manfrotto 410 geared, ball, geared head, which was great. It has very accurate movement. You can twist and it's geared and it moves very slowly, or you can do a little quick release and move it quickly. And I love this because you can really dial in exactly where you want your camera, especially to level a camera, it has the ability to move just incrementally tiny bits. So you can really dial at that. Uh, you can really dial in your camera uh, level to the ground. But with all the software that we use, we shoot straight to the computer. We use uh, you know uh, all kinds of perspective corrections, keystone corrections. This is a little overkill and it's a bit slow. So I switched over to using a lightweight, very, very fast ball head. And what this, it changed the way that I took photos. It freed me up, my photos became less static, and I was really, really pleased with the results. An additional feature of the Acrotech ball head is that you can actually take this and flip it upside down. And what you'll get is you'll get this axis of movement, the panning movement, on top. And what that allows you to do is once you've leveled the camera, you can pan the camera without losing that level, uh, which is very, very good for reframing in uh, shooting interiors or shooting architecture. But when I first purchased this head and I used it upside down, it was great for architecture, but what about for product photography? Losing that bottom axis of movement was no good. Um, I needed to be able to have this axis of movement and this axis of movement. So in searching around, I found the really right stuff, quick release lever with a panning head. And this coupled with the Acrotech is really prime. 
An additional feature on the really right stuff, quick release panning head, is that it has a bullseye bubble level where you can see it. The Acrotech also makes a quick release lever without the panning head, but the, bull, the bullseye is inside. Their intention is for you to set up without having a camera on the tripod. But sometimes I don't have a strap on my camera. And as you can see, if I'm doing this, how am I supposed to hold the camera and center it? So it was really important to me to find a nice quick release plate with a bullseye on the outside. Surprisingly hard to find. But what this allows me to do is I can look at the back of this, I can level my camera, and immediately reframe. And this gives me perfect level. I don't have to worry about parallax. I don't have to worry about keystone cor correction or anything like that. So now, the Pro Media Gear L bracket, very crucial. Why I use an L bracket? A couple of reasons. One is I nearly always shoot tethered, and you can see what I have going on here is a tether cable. It's already plugged in, and it's taped secure to the L bracket. And what that allows me to do is it takes all the stress off of the USB plug. And what that does is it allows me a very short dongle to connect a USB extension to. And when we're on set, so often this has happened, someone trips on your cable because it is, this is running to the ground to a computer. What you don't want is for this to rip out and to hurt your camera's USB port. Very costly to repair. This is a $3 thing from Amazon. So you can replace this, but you can't replace this. And because of the shortness of it, the extension just pops out. Very useful. And not to mention that additional feature that I found myself, the built-in feature is you can go from landscape mode to portrait mode very, very quickly. Great if you're shooting two formats for the price of one. Sometimes I'm shooting interiors and the interior designer wants a landscape shot for the website but the magazine wants a vertical shot of the same room. This way, I can shoot both portrait and landscape without moving the tripod, without changing the axis in which the camera is pointed. I don't have to drop it like this and move and reframe. That's very slow and tedious. So instead, It's one quick move, just like that. Well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you like the material. This is Thomas Quo. If you like the content, please hit the like button and remember to subscribe. See you next time.